The Eagles defense this year is going to be good. It's going to be good. And if the right guys break out, this defense is going to be top five. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Ding back here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of that. I, at this point, I, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. still stinks. Yo, everybody doing? King Ding Bat here. And let me first start off by saying thank you to everybody who was in my live stream tonight. It was a blast. Had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun putting the belt out and rubbing it in the Dallas Cowboy fans' faces. We are, after all, the champions. The champions of the world. But, you know, I got to say this. Winning a division isn't what it's about. It's about winning Super Bowls, and the Eagles are all about winning Super Bowl. Eagle fans are all about winning Super Bowls. Uh, the Dallas Cowboy fans, they love the little, they love the little divisions, and oh, we want a playoff game. That's a big deal to them because they haven't done anything in 30 plus years. But Eagle fans, not so much. Now, I usually don't, I usually don't do. Uh, veteran players new numbers when they come to the Eagles like I don't really care what numbers they get I usually don't talk about it rookies I will because it's always interesting to see what number they choose uh, who wore that number in the past you know I kind of like those things but veteran I usually don't do it however however today I have to talk about it at least a little bit because Marquise Goodwin is taking number 13 He's taking number 13, and to me, that's a big deal. It's a huge deal, because over the last few years, we've had a horrendous, horrendous, horrendous stench, stench associated with number 13. We had, you know who? It's just Nelson. Nelson, 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 he stinks. Gonna make Raider fans drink. That guy, that's who I'm talking about. He wore 13, and it bothered me, because I got to tell you, 13 is one of my favorite numbers. It's one of my favorite numbers, and it goes along with the greatest night in the history of Philly 500 gambling. It goes along with it, and when he wore it, it killed me. Now, I, I got to be honest, it also goes with the worst night, and they both were the same night, to be honest with you. Um... I remember a long time ago, and I, I'm getting off topic here, and I'll try to make it quick. But I remember a long time ago, me and my friend, right, we were talking to this, like, old-timer, right, this old Italian guy. And he's telling us he's got this sure-proof 100% system for roulette, right? It it works. He's got it. And, and whenever he needs extra money, he just goes and he gets it. And we were, learned his little system because, you know, it was a little bit. You had to keep track of things and stuff. So we're like, all right. This sounds really cool. Let's go to Atlantic City and see if it works. So we're like we're like 21 years old. So we drive down to Atlantic City. Literally had $60 in my pocket. $60. My friend had $60. And we're like, all right, let's do it. So we start doing this guy's system. We got our $60, put together $120. They give us chips. We start doing the system. Boom, 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 boom. All of a sudden, we're up $1,000. This dude's system is working. So he, I get he, I give him his $500 back. I get my $500 in chips. And we start, keep doing, we keep doing the system. And then I start placing bets, right? Placing bets. Anyways, I kept hitting 13, kept coming out. So all of a sudden, I start hitting 13. Boom, 13, boom, boom, boom. I'm up $4,500. $4,500. And all because of 13. Well, the system and 13. But I got to tell you up $4,500, I learned a valuable lesson because at one point I was up $4,500, I said to my friend, the next bet we hit, we leave. He says, all right, we didn't hit again. We didn't hit again. 
System started not working. 13 started not coming. Next thing I know, I literally left the Lance City with $60 in my pocket. With $60 in my pocket. I had 4500 bucks. That was really depressing. I remember going to Philly to get food. And we're going over to Walt Whitman. And I was just like, I just want to pull a car over and just, and just, I don't know, just hang out the bridge. Because I was so pissed off. And it was a valuable lesson in gambling. You know, something that I've, as an older guy now, I get. I know when to walk away. You have to know when to walk away. But... 13 is still a lucky number. Over the years, I've hit with that number many times. So seeing it not in Nelson Aguilar's body, and it's not on Nelson Aguilar anymore, I'm very excited about this. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about in this video is I want to talk to you guys primarily about the Eagles' defense. Because let me let me say this. I think the Eagles' whole plan this offseason was really smart. It was smart. Uh, they focused... Uh, free agency on defense, right? So they use free agency. They primarily got defensive players. Then they focus, uh, you know, offense in the draft. And this is smart for two reasons. One, you bring it in in free agency. You tend to bring in guys who have played that can play right away. That's what the Eagles defense needed. They needed guys that could come in and play right away. Then on offense, you want to get young guys that can basically play in a rookie contract with Carson Wentz through his prime years. And that'll take a little longer, I think, as the year goes um, to, to kind of get going. I think the defense will make an immediate impact, but the offense may, it may struggle. It may have to find itself and it may take a little while for these young guys to get going. But once they get going, they're going to be fine. And, and you look at the Eagles, right? You look at the guys they sign, sign like Javon Hargrave, and they trade for Darius Slay. And then you look at what the Dallas Cowboys did, right? Dallas Cowboys, Alden Smith, McCoy, Don Terry, but a bunch of old guys. They get an average, they get an average safety in Ha Ha Clint Dix. They're old. They're old. They can't handle our offensive line. They're not going to be able to handle our offense. And then defensively, when you look at the Eagles, how do you how do you how do you stop Javon Hargrave and Fletcher Cox? Seriously, you can't double team both those guys. The Javon Hargrave signing, to me, was the most underrated signing out of every team during free agency. I really think in a couple years, people are going to look at that signing and say, "Wow, that was that was the best signing. Uh, <laughs> that was the best signing that all season." Because I, I compare it to the Brandon Brooks signing. When people, when the Eagles signed Brandon Brooks, you know, we all thought, "All right, that's a good signing. You know, got a good player. You know, but we'll see how good it is." Turns out he's the best guard in football. I think the Javon Hargrave signing, he's 26 years old. I think it was that it was that impactful. You you know, you got the kid Poop. You got the kid uh, Will Parks. I mean, the Eagles went out and brought in players, and they got faster uh, on that team. And then I think this Eagles team, a defense that is predicated on a pass rush, getting to the quarterback using its, its four defensive linemen, I think with Hargrave and Fletcher Cox, with that pressure that they're going to produce up the middle, right? I think, I think it's going to be very hard for teams to handle that. And really, I'll say this: if Derek Barnett, if Derek Barnett can have a breakout year, which with that line he should, okay, he should get ten plus sacks this year. If he provides you with that, and you have suddenly have that outside pass rush. It's over. They're going to be a top five defense. I really think so. I think Derek Barnett is the key to this defense. He has to have a breakout year. And to me, if he if he can't get 10 sacks this year, I don't think he'll ever get it. I really don't. I think this is a make or break year for Derek Barnett. Uh, because, look, you got Fletcher Cox, Hargrave. You got Brandon Graham on the other side. You work in Malik Jackson. I mean, dude. There's no excuse for him not to get pressure. He should be one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He's got to get home. If he does, this defense is going to be fantastic. The other thing the Eagles have to do is they, they, they have to let Darius Slay cover the best wide receiver. You know, you don't keep him on one side because I know that in the past, Schwartz didn't like, you know, really like shadowing guys and stuff like that. But I think when you have a guy like a Darius Slay, you have to let him play the number one wide receiver. That's that's what motivates these corners. That's what they like. Let him do that. And if the Eagles do do that, dude, I'm telling you, they're going to be a top five defense. The Eagles defense 
is much improved compared to last year. And if you look at like Dallas and the Eagles defensively, the Eagles are much better. The Eagles are much better, much more prepared and built for a long season into the playoffs, okay? They're, they're, they're younger. They got more jump. I think they got more depth. Yeah, look, Dallas has good linebackers, no doubt about it. We have a lot of young linebackers, and that's our weakness, and that's an area of concern on our defensive side of the ball. However, if that defensive line is good enough, it can mask a lot of the things at the linebacker position. And then you get some of these young guys to start playing. I think the Eagles, I think they'll be fine. Um, the other kid, uh, you know, Kavon Wallace, I believe he's going to be a starter at safety at some point. I think Jalen Mills will be moved back outside. And if, if we can get health this season on defense, Derek Barnett to have a breakout year, Darius Slay to be to just be allowed to focus on the number one wide receiver. And then maybe one or two guys just develop a little more. Top five defense, man. Top five defense. I love what they did defensively. I really do. And, and, and to be honest with you, I mean, there's still an opportunity for the Eagles to go out and get even better. If you if you can somehow swing a, a Yannick Nagagui trade, which I don't think you could until the trade deadline, uh, you sign a Jadavian Clowney as a rotational piece for one year, or you go out and get like a Logan Ryan or somebody, you're only going to be that much better. But I really think that the Eagle fans should be excited about this defense because I think, I think that they're much improved. I think the Dallas Cowboys, uh, where they improved this year, in my opinion, was the wide receiver position. They were already good there, so it's not going to be a huge deal. But I think, really, I think Dallas takes a step back. I think the Eagles take a couple steps forward, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And I think, really, the biggest threat to the Eagles is the Giants. If You know what I mean? I think the Giants, if Daniel Jones develops in year two and takes a step, I think the Giants could be the second best team in this division. No question about it. But uh, the Eagles... Starting this season and this year, the reason why I think they get off to a good start is because I think their defense is much improved. The offense is going to have to catch up because you got so many new pieces, so many young pieces that won't have all that spring and stuff to work together. I think it'll be easier for the defense to adjust. And I think the Eagles are well on their way to a top five defense provided you get a couple breaks, especially Derek Barnett rebounding, or not even rebounding, but Derek Barnett having a breakout year, double digit sacks. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.